Dang, it is dead. Okay. Okay, guys, we are heading to, well, a couple of different places. So I've been getting cabin fever because of this whole coronavirus stuff and I'm a little bit sick but I don't have that. It's because um, our condo has been so dry because we've been turning on the heater 24-7 and I didn't realize that I couldn't shake off this congestion thinking that I was, I don't know, sick. But I realized it was because our place was so dry so we got a humidifier. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Anyways, we got a humidifier and I'm getting so much better, so that's that. We're going to Costco to buy some groceries. We already have emergency food, but we don't have like groceries, so we're going to buy that. And hopefully it will die down a little bit in terms of like how crowded and crazy it is because we heard that there are lines outside of Costco before it even opens, which is crazy, but luckily we have all our essentials like laundry detergent and toilet paper and yeah, like emergency food. So we're good on that, but um, we're gonna stop by, oh, we're gonna stop by Nordstrom Rack just because we've been so locked up. And um, I'm gonna stop by Bartels to grab a couple of things. And then we're going to William and Sonoma because I need to buy some pancake ring molds. Hopefully I can just get rid of this cabin fever. I was saying this is the neatest we've ever seen these. Because there's nobody here. Out of these cool shoes, Edwin chose. <laughs> Show him what you chose. <laughs> oh, huh? what? He likes these waterproof shoes, which is fine with me. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> True. How cute are these? So cute pineapples. Hearts within a heart. Oh, this one says woof. Look at these cute Easter pants. It's so quiet in here. We're like the only ones in the store, which is kind of nice. So this is how empty the parking the parking spaces are. And it's a Saturday. Look, all empty, empty open open here and this like never happens on a saturday because everyone goes to the mall look at how empty this is it's crazy i've never seen it this empty on a saturday yeah it's kind of sad empty here it's like nobody at the mall I'm kind of anxious to see how busy Costco is and um, we're pulling in right now and what is the verdict? Is it dead? I can't quite tell yet. Oh dang, it is dead. Okay, contrary to popular belief, Costco on a Saturday at like, what is it? Probably around 5 p.m. right now is pretty dead. There's empty parking spots this, like back there, which it's never this empty. Oh, there's a parking spot there. Parking Dang, spot. okay. Well, it's not that empty, but it's pretty empty if you look um, on the other side. Get all the empty shelves. Are you trying to buy this thing? Yeah. I don't think we need the Fiji water. I do, but crazy. Look at this, empty shelves for pasta. All gone. Oh no, it's not here, right? What we want? It's crazy. All the canned foods are gone too. This is insane. Hi, baby! Hi! Oh, you're so excited! Oh yeah! Oh, 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 He's so excited! You're so excited! Hi! Hi! Hi, baby! I wish Nasa! Oh, look at so excited! <laughs> oh, Bronxy! Be careful! Bronx, come! Be careful! 
Hi! Proxy! Hi! Come to mommy! Come to mommy! Come on! Come on! Yeah! I wish Nessa! You're so excited! Let me do a quick Costco and KFC haul. English muffins. So, 24 pack. 24, that's a lot. I'll probably have to freeze some and then thaw it out to use the rest. Thing of sour cream for tacos this next week. Asparagus for Bronx. He needs some fiber in his diet. Pork for um, the tacos. Craft singles for the breakfast um, sandwiches. Seattle sourdough. Two packs of those. I'm probably gonna have to freeze one as well because there's no way we can get this, like, we can finish this between just me and him. Some strawberries that I'm gonna freeze up to make some smoothies. Okay, avocados used to be like $5.99, I think, at Costco, but then they increased the prices to like $6.99, and now it's $8.99 for five, which is really expensive. But I guess prices are increasing now. Chinese sausage, I'm probably gonna mix this into Bronx's food a little bit because he likes it. Pork sausage for the breakfast sandwich. Beef flank, I'm gonna freeze this for, actually no, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna cook some for Bronx and then I'm going to, because there's two pieces in here and then I'm gonna freeze the other one. Costco, strangely enough, had these young coconuts. It was like two, it was under $3, but um, yeah. So we're gonna pop these open and, uh, eat these or drink these chicken stock here organic milk and then they ran out of toilet paper they i mean paper towels they said but they actually had a, a little bit left that they brought out at the end we also got coke um i'm gonna need that for the pulled pork for the tacos cilantro oh look at brox he's trying to rip this bag apart hey, and uh it doesn't matter just any one of them is good the Spanish rice, and then there's some spaghetti, uh, more Spanish rice, the vanilla bean, yogurt, and I haven't tried this yet, but we'll try the Snow um ice cream. It's a local ice cream, um, what do you call them, creameries? Serrano peppers, jalapenos, rocks. <laughs> what do you need? So funny. At William & Sonoma, we got these cookie cutters, I need them for the Japanese um, pancakes. Here, I made some earlier today and it's hard to make them like the way that they're supposed to look without these, so I got that. Mulling spice ball, so uh, when we make Korean dishes and you use the anchovy stock, I wanna put the anchovies in here, put this into the pot and then let the water boil. So this was originally, let's see, $14.95 and then it was on sale for $9.99 and then it was on additional sale for $7.99 this was final at Nordstrom of course you guys saw the rainbow that Edwin bought but we got these really 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 cute um what do you call them the what do you call these um kitchen towels oh yeah kitchen towels Edwin had told me um at Nordstrom Rack and they were so cute ta-da it says we go together like Milk and cookies, it's so cute. And then this is the other towel, milk and yeah, and cookies. So cute, right Bronx, what do you think? It's cute, right? You think these are cute? Yeah, I'm gonna have to wash these. One of Bronx's favorite sausage stick is the Etta Says Pork Yum Sticks. He already knows he's gonna get a treat, are you excited? You can just give it to him and he'll eat it. There he goes. Oh. That was yummy, huh? Yeah. He devoured that. Okay, it's time for me to put this all away. Fridge is all stocked and everything is almost put away. Still have a couple more things to um, do, like put those Cokes away um, and then wash the dishes. And Bronx is not too happy right now because Edwin went to go pick up food and 
he's a little bit upset it's all clean finally i mean minus this but i'm gonna wash this and freeze it and then this i'm gonna grab the slow cooker and slow cook some meat for bronx and over there it's <coughs> excuse me pretty clean i need to actually wash that pot but i'll do that after i come back and this is semi messy ish but we'll leave it for now because this little boy needs to go outside and go pee pee right bronxy you want to go outside and go pee pee bronx i know you can hear me hi bronx hi hi you want to go outside my hair is greasy af it's like it's not a good look and i want to show you guys the humidifier that we got so i don't know how to pronounce this love love white love i don't know oh yeah i need to put water in there because it's totally empty and that one is like um the water cleaner or something like that to keep it from getting all moldy <laughs> Okay, this back on. And you can also add essential oils, but I just haven't gotten around to getting that. And then there's different settings. So obviously the lowest, this is the highest. You can also put on nighttime mode and it'll be pretty quiet. Yeah. I am actually going to insert a clip of Bronx throwing a hissy fit because he wanted to be held over the humidifier. I heard Bronx throwing a temper tantrum on my side of the bed, which he never does. I was like, ah, it's kind of strange. Maybe he smells the humidity from the humidifier. Edwin comes in from the other bathroom and he, um, he's doing something and then he's like, babe, look at this. So then I open the bathroom door because that's where I was. I was just washing up and then I see him holding Bronx over the humidifier so that he can enjoy the what the steam the humidity coming out of it i thought it was like the funniest thing so i'm going to insert that clip um at the end of this video i hope you guys enjoy and i'm pr i'm pretty surprised that i was actually able to get everything on camera um after edwin put him down he was throwing a second hissy fit um because he wanted to be held over the humidifier again that's the part i caught on camera and um i hope you guys enjoy i hope it makes you laugh and smile during these crazy times um, but I'm going to call it a night and we'll see you next time. Bye. What's the issue? Are you throwing a temper tantrum because you want to go be by the humidifier? I think that's enough for today. What do you think? Are you throwing a temper tantrum, Bronx? <laughs> Bronx, are you enjoying this? <laughs>